All right, today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting inequalities. So you should have a worksheet that looks something like this. And you'll see on your, you, you'll have a problem that looks something like this, like x minus 4 is greater than or equal than, to 8. And the first step, the, the, the first question I ask you is that this, this problem requires me to, and you have to circle one, either add or subtract. So let's look at this problem right here. The problem right here that we're looking at is x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 8. Now in this problem, what do we have? You always have to look at the thing in front of the number. And since we have a, a negative here, we're going to have to add 4. So when if you were doing this worksheet right here, if you look at it, um, there's a there's a minus four. So you would circle add because this problem requires you to add because we're adding four here. And if you add four to one side, you have to add four to the other side. And so our answer is going to be x is greater than or equal to twelve because eight plus four is twelve. These ones cancel. All right. So right here, in this blank area right here, it says on the left side, solve the problem. So right here, you would put the plus 4 and the plus 4. And so on your problem, whatever your problem is, that's what you're going to write there. And it says on the right side, circle what you did to solve the problem. And then right here, it says draw a number line to show the inequality in problem number 1. So here is um, the problem. Let's look at it. Let's draw a number line. So you would draw a number line in your space like this. Oh, that's a really bad number line. So you take your, you draw a number line, something like this. That's still not a very good number line. You draw it, and you'd put zero somewhere in the middle. And you would go, let's just say over here is 12. And since we did 12, we'll also do negative 12. And then we have to draw in our inequality. So where our, our number x is greater than or equal to 12. So we draw a, cir a circle here at the 12. And when it's equal to, you shade it in. If, if there was no equal to sign under here, you would not shade it in. But since there is an equal to sign, we shade it in. And we draw our, our arrow that whatever direction this arrow is pointing, that's the direction we draw our arrow. So my arrow is going to go to the right. So you would draw your number line here. And whatever your answer is, let's say your answer was x is 16, you would draw six, a 0 in the middle, and you'd have a 16 over here and a negative 16. And you draw the arrow in whatever direction this is. See how mine is going to the left, right? I mean, to the right right here? So I drew my arrow to the right. And so it, it's going to ask you a series of questions, mostly just to make sure you under, that you're do, take, doing all the steps correctly. So the first thing is, 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 did you draw a number line? Circle yes if you draw the number line. The next step says, did you label the number line? And this one says from negative five to five, but whatever. Just la did you label the number line with with, with numbers? Um, and then do you shade in the dot or leave it open? If it's if it's an if it's greater than or equal if there's an equal to under it, because here's the greater than and here's the equal to. If it's an equal to, then you shade it in. If if it was not equal to, let's say we had something like uh, x is greater than sixteen. You would have here's 16. You would draw a circle, an open circle, but you would not shade it in because there's no equal to. You would not shade it in. You would just draw the line, and you draw it in without. Uh, you would leave it open. You would not shade it in. But in our case, I'm I would circle um, shade it in because I have an equal to. And which direction does the line point? It points in the direction. Mine points to the right, and so I drew my line to the right. If if your points to if, if yours is a less than, like if you had x is let's say you had x is less than twelve, it would look something like this. You would draw it. There's no equal to under here, so we don't shade it in, and you would draw your arrow that way. So you just circle right here. Did you go left? Um, which direction did you go? And then right here, you would summarize in one sentence how to solve the problem. So for me, I would write, first I added, and, uh, and then I drew a number line. 